load of found a load of plants knocked over. I have to put some of the pots out. So what's going on? But look, there's some bird poo in here. I think some pigeons got in to not leave the door open so much. Look at that. That's on a it's been upended a bit. There's some evidence to suggest that the plants in the smaller pots are not growing as big as the ones in the bigger pots. Now that stands to reason, doesn't it? Um, it's not entirely comprehensive uh, survey or uh, done scientifically, but I think what I'll do when I get back from Cardiff on Wednesday is start repotting some of them, if that makes sense. Some seed in there. It's dropped from here, look. Forest of spring onions. Cooking apples. It's gonna be a bumper crop. Eating eating apples. Hear the church bells, cathedral bells. You could hear the cathedral bells though, it's not often you can hear the cathedral bells actually. Um, I think maybe the wind's coming from a different direction today. Now we've got another apple tree, another apple tree behind the greenhouse that I've not bothered recording up till now, but look, there are lots of apples on this one as well. Wowee! Going to be cooking roast beef on the rotisserie here today. Well, I don't think we've had one of them before. Again, a fantastic variety of small birds this year. Homegrown strawberries and the Weetabix for breakfast, with a bit of melon. Just seen a female blackbird feed a male. Now presumably the male must be one of the kids, but it was bigger than the female, that was interesting. They are not fast enough to get the camera out for these things means whipping the phone out, running outside, which would inevitably scare the birds off, and you miss the moment anyway. That small bird, by the way, was a female chaffinch, as, uh, as told by the Facebook masses. Quarter to 11, Sunday morning. I'm having an enforced sit down by the barbecue while I wait for the temperature to stabilize. I want it to be about 180 degrees centigrade. It's currently up at 210, which is okay for the first few minutes because you like to give it a bit more of a blast at the start, don't you? But uh, be adjusting the knobs a bit like this. Look, just, um, just that down a bit, see what happens. This one is off, that's on full, and this one is on getting towards low, so we'll see. It always takes a while to adjust the temperature of the barb. Totally idyllic. This should be ready. I'm going to uh, cut it open a bit and see. Yeah, it's going to need a little bit more. Got a bit of time. This is mango and sweet corn salsa.
Uh, spit roast beef. I overdid it. I put it on for an extra 10 minutes, which I shouldn't have done, but it still worked out okay. Spuds. We've got tomato, a, sal a mango, uh, and roast sweet corn salsa, and roast veg. Not bad, even though I say so myself. And I've got some gravy. I'm in Cardiff, actually, in the Hilton Cardiff. I made a big mistake. Before I left Lincoln, I was going to go like that. And then when I got here, I was going to go, hey, I'm in Cardiff. So would have looked great, wouldn't it? As it happens, I forgot to do it when I left Lincoln. So I'm in Cardiff. I've got a fantastic room looking out over the castle. If we can see it all. There's a castle there, look. Brilliant. Great. Bit of an upgrade, eh? Room. Lovely, actually. Fair play. Nice hotel. Light here in Cardiff. It's 10 to 10. The visitors are departing. There's Auntie Sue, Sue, my sister Sue, my sister Anne, and my dad. It's been a bit of a family siblings and parent reunion. And uh, dad's going back to his pad in Llandarf. I'm going back to the Hilton. Anne's going back to Holt. And Sue's stopping here because it's her place.